Tools, what can I get you today? Well, we're building a big table for the buffons. They're having una cena, a dinner tonight for 10 people. A big table, huh? Okay, well, you'll need some wooden posts for legs and some long screws. Here are some screws and some posts. Now you'll also need a piece of wood for a tabletop. How many people did you say are coming to the dinner party? 10, so you'd better leave the wood extra long. We'll cut it to the perfect length when we get there. That's a stretch. Okay, Dusty, this should be the perfect length for a table for 10. Ten! Shut up, Stuart! <laughs> the Buffants! Hola, Mrs. Buffant. This is Mr. Ajala. I have some bad news. Our babysitter is sick, so we can't make it to La Cena, the dinner tonight. I'm so sorry to cancel this late. Oh, well... That's quite all right, Mr. Ayala. We understand. Oh, thank you. But I'm very sad that I'll miss your famous giant meatballs. Oh, that's very sweet. But you know what? We'll have another dinner party soon, and you can try them then. Oh, Dwayne, that was the Ayalas. They can't make it to the dinner party tonight. Can't make it? But, but I've already planned for ten people. Now, don't you worry, Punk, and I'll just freeze two of the meatballs and we can have them next week as leftovers. But what about the table? It's going to be too big. We can't have a nice conversation if we're too far away from one another. You see, it's, it's not what I planned. Well, how about we make the table smaller? Can you do that, Manny? <laughs> of course, Mr. Buffant. Stretch, can you measure two more feet from the end of the table? Sure thing, Manny. Okay, Dusty, one more cut. There, now the table will seat eight people perfectly. Phew, great, Manny. Okay, so now with the Ayala's gone, Mr. Kumar will be sitting next to Maria, and Mr. Kumar likes dancing, so okay, this could still work. Fantastic, I've now made a perfect plan for a party of eight. Hello? Oh? Oh, really? I see. Okay. Well, uh, thanks for calling. That was Maria and Oleg. Their car broke down this afternoon, so now they can't make it to dinner either. Uh, Manny, do we have time to make it a table for six? <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Buffon. We can handle it. Okay, Tools. Cut off another two-foot section. Okay. It's taken a lot of work, but I think I've got the perfect plan for a party of six. Now what? Uh, hello? Hi, Duane. It's Mr. Ajala. I've got some good news. We found another babysitter. We can make it to your dinner party after all. Oh? And even better, we heard that Maria and Oleg's car broke down, so we agreed to pick them up on our way. We'll see you all in a few hours. Oh, uh... Yes, see you then. Well, now Maria, Oleg, and the Ayalas are all coming. Oh, everyone can make it after all. Well, that is just wonderful. I'm not so sure about that, my little buttercup. How can we plan this dinner party if the number of guests keeps changing? Uh-oh, you're right. I've already frozen the extra meatballs. I won't be able to have them ready in time. And Manny already cut the tabletop so that only six people can fit at it. Oh, what are we going to do? It's okay, Mr. Buffant. Sometimes plans change. But maybe you could try being a little more flexible. Flexible? How do I do that? Well, being flexible means finding another way to do something if the first way doesn't work out. For example, you plan Mrs. Buffant's famous giant meatballs for dinner. But maybe now you could add something else that you already have in the cupboard, like spaghetti. Oh, yes. And I can even divide the meatballs into smaller meatballs to go with it. Spaghetti and meatballs! Yum! That is a good idea. Thanks for watching. Now click left or right for more great shows or subscribe to keep up to date with the latest Disney Junior YouTube clips.